Let's turn our attention to the three-dot segmentation menu, the go-to spot for creating, editing, and managing your go-to-market hierarchy rules. The first step to creating your go-to-market in Fullcast is to build your hierarchy. Right now, you can see we only have all companies. No hierarchies have been built out. Clicking on the three-dot menu, we're presented with two important options, add node and add hierarchy. But what's the difference between adding a node and adding a hierarchy? Here's a simple way to understand it. Each territory in your hierarchy is a node. What you see now is a go-to-market plan that currently has just four world super regions built out. Each of these four regions would be called a node. If I choose add hierarchy, I'd be using a rule to create multiple territories. At any one level of your hierarchy, you can only use add hierarchy one time. If I choose add node, I'd be carving an individual standalone territory. This territory wouldn't have sublevels and would follow unique rules distinct from other territories at the same level. As an example, let's say I wanted to carve Namer into three segments, enterprise, mid-market, and SMB, using an employee count field. To do this, I would select add hierarchy and then use a bucket rule to input the employee count thresholds for each of those segments. But let's say I also wanted to keep government accounts separate from those company size based territories. To do this, I would select add node to create the government segment. As you embark on your journey of territory carving, just remember this. When you're unsure, opt to add hierarchy. And then when you get stuck, adding nodes might be the correct solution.